Hi guys, this is um, my third uh, reveal, final reveal video, and this is the one on. Do you remember I did a video on an inbox review? Uh, it's probably the only kit that I actually suggested was terrible, and uh, it was the PM Models F5B Freedom Fighter Pioneer models. Do you remember? Well, this is the final reveal of the PM Models F5B Freedom Fighter, the two-seat Freedom Fighter. And the kit was eventually done up in Turkish markings, in their three-colour um, camo scheme. It's actually two different tones of green and a sort of desert sandy tan with, I'll turn the kit upside down so you can see, with a light grey underside. There you go. Now, I also told you um, in the video that I also built the F5A. And it's true, I have built the F5A. And just to show you the differences in the two kits, because there are quite significant differences in the two kits, I'll push this one to one side. And I'll just grab this kit from this side. This is the F5A. This is a PM Models F5A, and the two kits are virtually identical. The, the way they build is identical. Um, the obvious differences are the fuselage halves and the cockpit canopy are different, but virtually everything else on this kit is identical. The fuselage halves on the two-seat version don't have the the forward guns. If you can see the forward guns on that model there, you can see them there. One on the two-seat one, they're not there. And also the pitot tube in the single seat comes out the very front of the nose cone. Then on the two-seat model it comes out the top of the nose cone. Can you see that? And obviously you've got two-seat cockpit. I'll just turn them sideways on. It might make it easier for you to see the differences in the two aircraft. We've got the two-seat cockpit um, and the canopy obviously is only half the size on the F5. The single seat variant was actually made up in a Czech Air Force, Czech Air Force markings and it's in two tone sea grey, dark sea grey and medium sea grey again with a light grey underside. And the kit itself it builds identically to the 2C variant. The two kits are so alike. Um, it, the, the way they go together, it's, it's very. there's no difference whatsoever. Um, I did do a couple of conversions with the 2C variant, which I didn't mess around with with the single seat variant. Um, in the single seat variant, if you can see there, you've got a pilot seat that has no ejection seat. It's just a base pilot seat. And also, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there is no instrument panel. I didn't, I didn't fabricate an instrument panel for the single seat variant, um, but I did build this kit quite a while ago, so you know, it is getting on. I also didn't mess around too much with the filler on the wing route, and you can see there, there's a little gap there on the wing route. But on this this one, <laughs> can you see the gaps gone on the wing? Nicely filled up um, on the other on the other wing as well. No real problems with the wing roots on those. They've, they went together quite well. And on the inside of the cockpit, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Can you see how the 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 seats have actually got ejection seats? I've fabricated the ejection seats um, on this kit to reenact ejection seats. The interior on this model is not actually accurate in terms of what the real aircraft is like because there's an entire centre section between the forward cockpit and the rear cockpit which has a blast shield um, and there's a massive gap in between the two cockpits structurally. Um, and also this kit, I fabricated some instrument panels I'm hoping you can see them, I'm not sure if you can. Open might be better if I turn it that way and let the computer illuminate the instrument panels a little bit for you there. Can you see them? Yeah, you can just see them there. I actually fabricated instrument panels, built them in and then painted them all up 
and they were separate to um, what you got in the kit, but they're the only real conversions that I did on this model, full stop. I didn't do any conversions on this kit whatsoever. I also had a bit of a problem with this tip tank. Uh, for some reason, <laughs> I think it's the angle of the wing tip, it doesn't want to lie flat like the other one does. Um, I think the angle of the wing tip is slightly twisted, but that is a one piece wing in the kit and it's it just didn't wanna it didn't wanna lie flat. I tried everything, it just did not wanna lie flat. Um <clears throat> also the two seat variant I noticed between these two models when I was mold uh, modelling them from photographs, the single seat variant, the actual casing for the engine here is much deeper and it comes further down the airframe but for the two seat variant in Turkish air, for, air markings it's a lot shorter. Now I know this is correct because I worked off photographs but I don't know why it's like that. Maybe it's because um, this section of the aircraft in Turkish, Mar Turkish Air Force was painted over. I don't know. Um, there's also an avionics section to the upper fin here, which isn't in the Czech Air Force one. So I'm not sure, but there are minor differences to the two kits and different services. Um, but yeah, the, I'm going to be honest with you now. The two kits, um, they're, they're the first F5s I've ever made. I've never made an F5 from any other company um, in any other scale either. These are the first two F5s I've ever made. And I enjoyed making them. They... The, yeah, they are appalling kits. They're terrible kits. Accuracy issues left, right and centre. Um, the quality of the mouldings is dreadful. The fit of the canopies is absolutely awful. Um, the airframe. God, there's so much sanding you have to do. It's just it's unbelievable. But they were quite enjoyable kits. And in my opinion, they haven't turned out that bad. You know, I don't... They're two completely different camo... So, uh, camo uh, versions and I quite like the way they've come out um, yeah I did enjoy building these two models so they were very good fun went together very quick no real serious fit issues but yeah there was a bit of preparatory work I needed doing so that's the final reveal for the PM models the Pioneer models F5B and I just wanted to show you the F5A in comparison because um, you know they are they are virtually the same kit with different fuselage halves and canopy and that's basically it um, so that's this final reveal model um, hopefully I'll be able to get back to you with something next week uh, maybe another inbox of you um, don't forget to give me a like uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and you like what you see it's I, I very much appreciate it and I'll hope to see you soon with another video bye for now lads bye bye